Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Sarah the Bears and this is Station Ears Let's Play on Wulan episode number 46. First thing first, we are streaming Station Ears on Twitch every Tuesday, which means tomorrow. And uh, I decided I'm going to build the very easy circuit because I was asked to do it. And I will do use this circuit for something else, but at least I can show how to build it. Like it is going to be very easy. So everybody can have one in, in their base and it's nothing special, but it can help a lot. So what do I need? I need a welder. So let's do some welding as always. Oh shoot, this is very loud. So I will try to build a very small tower near my chimney from the advanced furnace so I think uh, this should be or this could be fine but I still need a, a little bit of wall like a vertical wall so I need three more frames maybe more but this is just beginning so let's weld this piece and I will try to do the easy circuit. So let's weld it completely, just like this. And this is going to be a night build. So I will build it through the night. Because I, I need that minus 4 temperature, like that negative temperature for the build. So let's do the circuit so i will take the sensor processors memory do i have the memory maybe i do have some memories here because i decided i'm going to cannibalize this uh, circuit i don't need it anymore so let's fly here and the basic thing what we need is a gas sensor so i do have the gas sensor here nice and i will place it somewhere around here like it, it doesn't matter where it is but I will have it here so let's get the wire cutters and I need to lay some wires just like this just like that maybe and this is going to be our circuit and as I said it is going to be extremely easy but maybe useful for somebody oh shoot no no no! i don't want to <laughs> okay <laughs> i don't want this cable here like i could leave it here there but if it is there i will not sleep today so let's do this preparation just like this another t section here do we need the corner no we don't need the corner who needs a corner right so T section here, T section there, another T section here, here, and here. And I think we have almost every, almost almost everything. So what do I need first? I think I'm gonna need a reader. So logic reader, just like that. And guys, if you are new to the game, this is the part where you need to pay attention. Here we go. So I will try to explain what I do. We do have the a gas sensor here and this cable network or this cable array or whatever it is, it is not connected to anything else. So logic reader, we want to read the temperature from the, lo uh, from the gas sensor. So if I will try to change this uh, screw to anything else you can see guys i can because there is only one device on this network so and that's the gas sensor so we have the we are reading the gas sensor and we want to read the temperature all right so let's get the temperature just like this and that's it end of the video so thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one right no i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm just kidding guys so What's next? I would like to have uh, maybe APC somewhere. So I'm going to steal this one. 
because if you are going to use APC then you can I would say isolate the network from the other devices just like this so let's get the wire cutters and the wires and I do have the the power coming from here so let's get the wire and I'm a little bit afraid that I don't have enough of wire so this is the APC let's connect it to the grid just like that and I will uninstall it and I will place it again because I want to show you something guys all right I know this episode is not very good for the veteran players but if you are new to the game and you want to know how it works I will try to explain so this is our APC we can rotate the APC and we can change the direction of the that arrows on that APC so now the data and the power is on the left side and the, the power is on the right side but we need exactly opposite of this so I will rotate the input and output of the APC I will place it I will open it with a crowbar I can start the APC now it is uh, receiving the power but if you want to if, if you do have some kind of a I would say sensitive devices behind the APC maybe you can place a battery inside the APC because let's say if something goes wrong in your base and your devices maybe they keep you alive or they will lose power you die and this is because the APC doesn't have the battery it is good to have a, a battery in APC but if you don't want you don't need to so let's go back to our circuit so if I will turn on this uh, logic reader we can see the temperature and it reads 268 point some crazy number all right and this temperature is in kelvins not in celsius or in fahrenheit so it is in kelvins and we would like to use this uh, value for something else so i was thinking i'm going to show you guys how to do some kind of a very easy compare so let's do let's do this is the processor and we want to do the compare so this is it so i will cut some wires not because i need to but it is going to be easier to program and show what i want to do and now we don't have the power because we are missing a cable here because the, the power is from the top uh, for logic reader and now we want to compare something with something else so i will steal this cable and i need to get a memory somewhere but as my memory says i should have a memory right here and i do have some kind of a very easy circuit he here as well with the compare unit but we will do something else guys so i will place the memory here just like that and now what do we want to do we want to have this this temperature compared with a compare unit to this memory and what do i want to do is like a, if there is a temperature which is less like a minus five minus six minus seven compared to this uh, memory here i want to do something else so let's get the labeler so this is two i think that was 268 so less temperature is uh, let's say 270 degrees all right so let's uh, try to set this guy to 270 just like that and now we need to get a screwdriver and we need to do some magic so this number needs to be on input one logic reader the input two is going to be this memory so input number two and what do we want to do so this number if it is 270 280 that's higher but we want to have this number like 268 less 
than 270 or maybe I should uh, program it 268 so then we can see what is happening a little bit better so let's get the screwdriver and we want to have this guy to be less so let's get uh, the function less less than the input number two so if i will start the compare unit it is zero because 268.26 and so on is not less than 268 all right so i'll be back in a sec and we will see what is going to happen i'm back and i did unfreeze the time and we can see the temperature is slowly dropping so now it is minus five degrees like celsius and the compare unit shows state one which means it is true so i would say our circuit is working but i would like to do something with it so let's say minus five maybe i can change it a little bit maybe so it is a uh, 268 so this is 267 so let's try to increase the number to 270 i think maybe 270 maybe so this should be minus three degrees exactly so we do have the state one and we would like to do something with it guys and that's the reason why i did build this wall so we need a logic writer i'm going to place it somewhere here but we are going to use it as a batch writer so let's do it batch writer here and we want to read the compare unit so this guy so let's uh, use the input logic compare and we don't have we don't have uh, the output yet because i need to find something and i need to print it so let's find it all right i'm not sure if i do have uh, enough of time to show you guys because uh, i think the sun will rise shortly but i would say that's fine so let's find wireless or tr transmitter is it transmitter yes transmitter oh shoot i need copper why do i need copper now i'm recording i'm recording the video and i'm not ready yet so i think i do have a little bit of copper in these silos somewhere gold copper perfect so i need at least one stack which is like 50 g because i do have all the stacks divided by 50 g i don't want some kind of a crazy number of stacks so let's print oh it prints really really fast nice i was thinking i'm going to print it in maybe 10 or 20 minutes and let's take this wireless transmitter and i will place it somewhere here oh shoot okay i'm back with the cables or wires so let's do something funny all right at least funny for me guys and i did this uh, many times but i need to do it again so let's do a uh, this guy here maybe t section over here just like that maybe t section on top so i will connect these two guys just like that and now we need another cables here maybe just like this t section somewhere here and this is our wireless transmitter and i'm going to use it for something not special but well, let's try so what can we do i think you can see that right cycle to amy but all right so let's uh, cycle to amy and what can we do active or passive all right amy but and what do we want to do we would like to do some magic with it so wire wire cutters just like that wires and we are going to do oh shoot i would like to connect this guy as well so few more cables here 
and I will connect it this way and this is it and for better programming maybe I can cut for a while this guy and this guy just like that and we can try to program this uh, batch writer so the output is going to be I don't know <laughs> okay something is wrong so I found the issue you need to set uh, the, this transmitter to active so this is passive and this one is active if it is active you can find it on the network if it is passive which means it received it does receive the commands then you can't find it so let's set it to active transmitter let's find it with the uh, with the batch writer and what do we want to do we want to do function on which means if everything is working so i will try to turn it on oh shoot i completely forget to connect one more wire so very fast recap we have this uh, easy circuit over here and the batch batch writer is uh, like the output is the the logic transmitter the variable is on the logic transmitter is set to passive it reads amy and it runs so if i will jump here we should see amy to start or to get online or maybe to wake up at i think i did set it to minus two degrees i think so i will pull the tablet and we can see the temperature because uh, i think i did this uh, in uh, our previous uh, stream when we were playing on a custom planet and we did have some kind of a swarm of uh, amy's and they were mining only during the night as a vampire bots because i don't want anything like oxides or volatiles around my base so this is how i did it Come on Amy, alright, so Amy woke up, it works, and that's it guys, thank you very much guys for watching, I will see you in the next one, this is the way.